The burden of chronic kidney disease is rising worldwide because the underlying drivers of kidney disease are on the rise. For many people in many countries, diabetes, high blood pressure, and an older age drive chronic kidney disease. In low and low middle income countries, it's climate change. Hundred and eighty million families are pushed into poverty by trying to pay for some sort of kidney care. When I started to learn about um, kidney disease, I thought everybody fell into dialysis the same way. Um, when I learned the truth is that I could have been diagnosed a lot earlier at an earlier stage where I could have been treated uh, or um, at the very least changed my diet in order to put less pressure on my kidney. There's an enormous amount of risk for non-communicable diseases and especially kidney disease that comes from climate change. One of the big reasons that kidney disease is rising is actually population aging. So as people age, the risk of kidney disease goes up, but also with climate change, increasing heat, increasing occupational exposures, uh, there is increasing risk of chronic kidney disease in various parts of the world. One of the big reasons just to start why kidney disease has been overlooked in the global health agenda is that it has not been systematically measured. So in many places, especially lower income settings, there's no access to diagnosis. The WHO considers that by 2040, it will be the fifth biggest cause of death. Kidney replacement therapy is the most expensive disease therapy per patient. It outstrips lung cancer, it outstrips cystic fibrosis. So those are huge costs. When countries look at their budget items and they see what they spend on kidney failure, and they also recognize all the productive years of li life lost when young people get kidney disease, they will begin to elevate it on their agenda. If we can move towards introducing screening, early detection, diagnosis, prevention, then of course a lot of those costs can be pulled down. But screening itself, it also incurs costs and complications of its own. So we heard this afternoon that we need to integrate this. We can't go in in silos, diabetes, with cardiovascular, with CKD. We need to work together so that the screening picks up a variety of these NCDs. Raising awareness is the number one thing that we can do. We can advocate for uh, kidney health and being screened, but raising awareness, letting people know that CKD is 10% of the population, 90% of the population doesn't know they even have it. So if these people can be aware that, hey, when I go speak to my provider, I can advocate to have possibly a urine test to see if, I'm, if I fall within that uh, 90% and know that I have CKD.